Hello and welcome again to another tutorial from live.jrock2004.net. Continuing on last tutorial, I installed Apache uh, on a FreeBSD, FreeBSD server. Moving in the next stage, I now want to show you how to install PHP onto Apache so you can use PHP since it's so popular. Um, so let me switch over to the video I already created and we'll go through that. Okay, with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and add PHP support to your Apache server which is running on FreeBSD. Uh, right now we are on the main login screen. We are going to, as always, switch into Cheetah Root. And if you looked on the FreeBSD port site, you would know that Apache, or excuse me, PHP, lies in the language folder. And then you go into PHP 5. Now, I just did a make config, but that's not what you would do. What you would do is do is a make install clean. I already have PHP set up, so I don't need to reinstall it. Now, one of the important things that you have to do here is you have to make sure that build Apache module is checked. If you do not check that, um, you're, you're going to have to do a lot more configuration in the Apache um, config file, and it can cause a whole bunch of problems. Um, I believe CGI by default is already checked. You want to keep that. Um, and if you need to do some advanced stuff with CGI, which I don't, you can check, redirect, and discard, whatever. Once you're done, you basically hit tab to go to OK. I'm just going to go cancel here. And when you do that, it's going to go through the installation process. Now, the next thing I do is when we go back in the language here, did you see where it has the dash extensions? This is very important to do. Now, I'm going to do the make config so you can see when you do your make install clean and hit enter, the screen that's going to come up. This is the PHP extensions that you want. Um, by default, the default checks are good, but you know if you're going to do any type of gallery, anything like that, make sure GD library is in there. Um, if you plan to do any IMAP stuff, um, you know, so you basically go through. One of the things I check which you'll see in a future tutorial, MySQL. Um, you definitely, if you plan on doing any databasing, make sure that is checked. Uh, other than that, I don't, and oh, almost forgot, XML. You need XSL, or XSL, that should be also checked, because um, XML is very important. So go ahead and you can just hit tab, I'm going to go to cancel and go through the installation process. Now that that has been completed, what we need to do is we need to edit your Apache file. Now there's not much that you have to change in here. Um, this module should be there because when you installed of uh, PHP, you told it to build the module for you. So you need to make sure, mine's on line 103, make sure that is there. Now I'm going to quickly scan through the document. There's another area that you need to Okay. Mine's line 241. Make sure you throw an index.php in there because if you get into making PHP pages and go to your home page and nothing's loading, 
that's because this isn't in here. Now, one, the last thing you have to do, this will not be in here. You have to add, add, add this manually. Are these two lines right here? Let me highlight. I think in the video you'll see the highlighting. These two lines need to be added. That basically tells the server, you know, when to use PHP. It's a mind type in essence. So there, you know, once you add those two lines, you're going to save your file, and you're going to do an Apache restart. I will do that. If you receive any error messages, you know to go into the uh, error file, which is in their log Apache. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Okay, so... There it was. Not too difficult, was it? It was a lot easier than uh, installing Apache. Not much changes need to be made. Um, again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this. And anyone who's watching this on YouTube, uh, please subscribe and um, look at future tutorials. Thank you.